everyone. We're back with you here this week on Gridiron. It is Larry Kelly's starring role as the Red Hurricane Report. Before he does, I have just two words to say to Larry Kelly, and that's, oh, boy. All right, we'll, we'll turn it over to you, Larry. I mean, I wish I had better news, uh, but unfortunately, uh, that game kind of turned out as, uh, as, as predicted. You know, West Allegheny is a senior-laden team. Uh, they run the ball, and they run the ball really, really well. Uh, you know, they are a, a football team that is well coached with uh, senior players. And so, you know, the final score of 52-14 uh, was kind of not uh, unexpected. Uh, you know, they rushed the ball for 324 yards, and we talk about this all the time. To win football games, I think at the high school level, you have to be able to stop the run and you have to run it yourself. They ran for 324 yards. Nishanik ran it for 231. Union ran, rushed it for 272. Freedom against Elwood rushed it for 363 yards. You know, the formula seems to be rather simple. If you can stop the run and run it yourself, you've got a pretty ch good chance to win the game. You know, Newcastle's having a hard time. Uh, stopping the run and running the ball themselves. As Coach Robinson said in the article, uh, he has a, an underclass line, inexperienced. And, uh, you know, offensive line play is something that requires experience. You know, it's something, it's synchronization. It's, it's being able to, you know, make sure that uh, you're moving forward as a unit. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. You know, once again, he made a comment in the paper when the game was kind of still in doubt. Uh, West Allegheny hits a 45-yard touchdown pass with 38 seconds to go in the half. Not only did that provide him with like a 31-6 lead, but it's such a momentum builder going into the locker room and coming out for the third quarter. You know, that can't, that can't, those are the kind of plays that are backbreakers. Uh, a little bit of, uh, I guess, silver lining. Uh, Tyrell, Tyrell Lincolns, uh, again, ran a kickoff back 96 yards. The kid has unbelievable speed. And in the last touchdown run that Newcastle did have, or touchdown drive, uh, Tyrell Harris was three for three, made a couple of nice throws. So, you know, that's it's something to build on. Uh, but again, it just, it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, you know, I said Tyrell, but it's Tyler Lincolns. I'm sorry. Uh, return to kick 96 yards. You're going to have to build on things like that. You're going to have to take those uh, little moments in a game and build on them and, and hopefully uh, package that into something good moving forward as the season goes along. Yeah, I talked to Robinson a little while ago for our weekly spot on our uh, capsules, and, and I mentioned that to him about the uh, – special teams, you know, getting another special teams touchdown. And, and uh, he, you know, applauded his, uh, the play of, of his team on special teams said, it's very good, but blocking and everything. He says, I just wish we weren't kicking off as, or they weren't kicking off as much as they, as they are uh, obviously given their returners a chance to return kicks like that as much as they are. So uh, that's rough. And then naturally central Valley coming up this week, uh, go from one, one uh, highly contested uh, game, you know, in terms of Central Valley to, to this game, boy, you know, it's, it's not easy for them. Uh, nobody said it would be either. I mean, that's what the Parkway Conference is, Larry. No, uh, Central Valley, much like West Allegheny, is loaded with talent, you know, upperclassmen at, at almost every position, and uh, that'll be a tough sled for Newcastle this week. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then, you know, naturally you'll have Aliquippa in a couple weeks. Um, you know, so, you know, after, the, after this one, I think they go on the road to Montour. Uh, Montour's got a decent record. Uh, you got Char Valley. There, there's winnable games here. Blackhawk. Uh, so, you know, you're going to have to probably take your pumps. You took them last week. You know, every, I think everybody expects there to be lumps to be taken this week, but but you're, you're going to have to you're going to have to win those games against Montour, probably Char Valley teams like that, uh, to possibly have any shot of getting to the postseason. 
I'm not so sure the postseason is what Coach Robinson's thinking about right now. He's thinking right. about let's get incrementally better every week. Let's try to get better. Let's try to make some adjustments uh, to get a little bit better. And he's probably still searching for players. You know, he's still searching for guys that when the lights come on are going to step up for him. And, uh, you know, if by chance they're able to get into the playoffs, that's great. But when you're building and, uh, you know, uh, a program when you're trying to build a culture, it's one week at a time and let's get incrementally better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, and he mentioned that tonight too. He says, uh, you know, when I asked him, if, are the, does he feel the team is making strides? He says, yeah, we're making strides, but sometimes it feels like we're taking one step forward and two steps back. He says, we, we gotta, we gotta put our foot down and, and uh, keep going forward and not take any steps backward, you know? So uh, one of those things is going to be getting uh, Kayvon Gardner back. And as of right now, I'm not sure if he gets back on the field this week or not. That's going to be another game time decision. So we'll see about Kayvon Gardner. How much of a difference will he make to this lineup if he gets back in the in the mix? Oh, he's a tremendous athlete. Like I said, I coached him in basketball. Kayvon has got the heart of a lion. He's a tremendous athlete. And much like Tyler Lincoln, so he has speed to burn. And uh, it, he'll be another threat for Coach Robinson. He'll be another threat for Kyrell Harris, both as a running back and a receiver. So, uh, you know, it'll certainly help to have him back. He, he's a special player. Last week against West Allegheny, they went to halftime with a grand total of 10 offensive yards. You don't win any games, not many, but any games with 10 total yards in the first half. It's just, it, it's not a recipe for success. No. And again, you, you need to be able to run the football and run it effectively, I believe, to win high school football games. And uh, just looking at the statistics, you know, uh, I'm looking at them now. Newcastle had less than, well, they had 84 total yards, but they lost 40. Their net rushing yards were 44. You're not winning many games with a net rushing statistic of 44 yards. You're just right. Not. Absolutely. Okay. Anything else, Larry, that you'd like to say about the Red Hurricane? No, I'm still, I still bleed red and black. I mean, I, I still, I love, that's my alma mater. I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's in my blood. It's in my heart. It's in my soul. Uh, I'll always be a red hurricane. There's one thing I learned growing up around here. People should look out for each other. Be friends and neighbors that you can count on. So it bothers me when people who are hurt in automobile accidents get bullied by the insurance company. I don't let bullies run over my clients. I do what I was taught growing up. Step up, stand up, and speak up for those who can. I'm Larry Kelly, and I'm a Newcastle guy.